Hey guys, my name is Ethan, and this is Cobra. Welcome to Series IG, how to build a Discord or play music bot for your server. Today, we are actually starting to do the music stuff, so we're going to be setting up the music cog. We're not going to be doing anything specifically with it today, but there is quite a lot of setup to do and a lot to talk about. So, we are going to go into our cogs, and we're going to set the folder, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call it music.py. <laughs> and in this music.py, we are going to do some imports, so we need to import Discord. We need to import Wavelink and we need to from discord.ext import commands. Now we are going to need a lot more imports than this later down the line, but those are the three I'm just going to make for now. So we actually want to make more than one class, we want to make more than the cog. So we actually want to make a player class and we're going to inherit from wavelink.player. We're not going to overload anything just yet, but we are going to be doing some overloading as the series goes on, so we do need to um, have this here. I'll just put it there for now. All we're going to do is we're just going to super in it. Uh, so, and then args and then quags. Uh, so that's all we're going to do with the player for now. However, we are going to be adding a lot of functionality into the player because, in my opinion, it's better to put a lot of this functionality in the player rather than anything else. We're just going to leave that for now. Instead, we're going to focus on the actual music cog itself. So we're going to have music uh, commands.cog and we're also going to inherit from wavelink.wavelink mixin. See, so this wavelink.mixin class has some events. So, like the commands.cog.listener has, or commands.cog has listeners that you can use. So, for example, on ready or on connect or something like that or on member join uh, wavelink .wavelink mixin has those same other li uh, other listeners and the syntax works roughly the same uh, so we're going to be using a few of those which is why we need those in there uh, we're going to be uh, doing that in a second but first we want to actually set up the cog so we're just going to do bot.add cog music bot like that and that's what I set up done so if we can go to our init and just take self and then bot. So we want to assign self.bot to equal bot. We also want to assign self.wavelink equals wavelink.client uh, bot equals bot. And we want to do self.bot.loop.create task self.start nodes, which doesn't exist right now, but we're going to be making that in a second. Um, on the topic of this line, I want to say. If you don't have Lava Link uh, going, then you need to get it going. Uh, I did talk about that in the first video, the required installs and Lava Link setup. So if you don't know how to do Lava Link and stuff, then you need to look at that video to find out. And that and that video also shows you how to set up the server and everything. So we're going to need a few listeners. So the first one we're going to do is a commands.cog.listener. And well, this is a more optional one, but um, do on voice state update so what this will do is it will fire whenever a member joins or leaves a channel so you've got self and member so it's a particular member the before which is a voice state and the after which is also a voice state so this voice state contains stuff like the channel uh, like the voice channel and I'm not really sure what else but it doesn't need it doesn't it doesn't really you don't really need much of it so what we're going to do is we're going to use this to determine when to leave the voice channel. So this is going to be a very simple implementation. We're essentially just going to get the bot to leave the moment there's no other humans in there. So if not member.bot and after.channel is none. Um, if not and then m for m in before.channel.members if not m.bot. So essentially what we're doing here is we're checking to see if the member is a bot or not and we're uh, checking to see if the member left the if the chat if the member left the channel so if our channel is none the member left if after the channel is a channel object then they joined and uh, so we're just getting like the channel because you can get the channel from the before state so we're just making sure there uh, are no human members in there if there are not, we're just going to pass that for now because we haven't got the functionality. But what this will do is it will um, is it is it will kick the bot or it will it will automatically disconnect the bot from the channel. 
so um, channel uh, we're gonna be writing that in a few episodes time I'm not sure when exactly uh, probably episode 4 we talk about connections and disconnections we're gonna be doing it there so I'm gonna put EP4 there just so people know uh, but I just wanted to talk about that because it's the event and it's the setup so we don't actually want to do another uh, cog listen we want to do a wavelength listener instead next so wavelength dot wavelength mixing dot listener so as you can see the syntax is basically the same async def on node ready self node so a node is essentially what the client connects to so the server has a number of nodes and we can connect um, to we can connect to these nodes so all we need to do all, uh, all I'm going to do is just print that we're connected wavelink node uh, node dot identifier um, is the actual name of the node and we'll talk about identifiers in a second uh, ready so that's all I'm going to do for now you can do all sorts of different stuff when you uh, connect to a node or, or when a node is ready we're not going to bother doing that uh, so next thing we're going to do is a cog check so async def cog check self context and this cog check is just going to uh, disallow music commands from firing direct messages so if is instance ctx.channel and then discord dm channel so if the channel that the command was sent in is a is a is a dm you just say uh, just send the message to the user saying music commands are not available in dms uh, are not available in dms and then we return uh, false to, to say that the check failed otherwise we just return true to say that it passed and we can continue going uh, so this will automatically be applied to every single command in the um, in the cog we don't need to do any other checks we, uh, if you do a cog check it just checks the whole thing um, which is really useful to do so we need to do another two functions so the next thing we need to do is probably I'm going to do this one next. So we're actually going to do our start nodes here. So we're going to start all our nodes. Uh, we're going to uh, create and start our nodes. So first we need to wait until the bot is ready. So we can do self.bots wait until, there we go, uh, ready. Oh my god, I've lost the ability to type. This is, this is not good. Uh, and we can set our nodes up. So our nodes need to be a dictionary, um, even if we are just making one, which we currently are doing. So the, the, uh, we're just going to call our nodes main. It doesn't actually matter what you call it. There are a few things that do matter, but we're just going to be doing this. So our host, we're just going to set as local host. So 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 um, for the time being. The ports, I believe, has to be set to 2333. I don't know if it breaks if, it, if it's not, but let's just see. Then you have to do a rest URL or rest URI, not rest URL, because I did make that mistake while I was planning this. Uh, HTTP on, slash slash one two seven point zero point zero point one port two three three three. Then you need to set your password. Now on a local host, your password needs to be you shall not pass. Um, in the Wavelink example that I, or in the Wavelink documentation, sorry. And actually has this password and during the streams I was like oh that's kind of funny it's a funny joke no apparently it has to be this if the password isn't this or at least in my testing if, if this isn't the password when you're doing a local host if your host is 127.0.0.1 if this isn't the password it won't work <laughs> which I was not aware of so <laughs> I guess that's the thing uh, identifier is main so this should be set the same as this I don't know if it has to be but it realistically really should be and you can set your region i i am a brit boy so my region would be europe however i imagine most people would be like us central or something i think you can mirror discords.py uh or sorry discords voice regions with this but i'm just gonna set the europe gonna leave the trailing comma there because that is the hard pep eight strats and we're just gonna do four node in oops for node in nodes dot values uh, await self dot wavelink dot initiate oops node and then we need to 
pass in the values because the dictionary so we need to pass in essentially all this as a keyword arguments um, so even though we are just creating one node this allows you to create multiple should you ever decide you want to expand your base operations we are going to create just one more function before we get going and that is the utility to get the player uh, all the examples and stuff didn't have this utility but I think it's it's just a nice thing to have it just makes the code a little bit cleaner so you can pass self and or objects this object should either be a context or a guild and we can check the context so we can do um, object uh, commands dot context oops so if the is if the instance of the object is a is a context we can return self dot wavelink dot get player object dot guild dot id and then we pass in the class as player and we pass in the context as the object so this will get the player set the context as the object and we will be using our custom uh, player class which is not so custom at the moment but we again and we're just setting up for future videos or episodes um, so otherwise if it's an is instance of discord dot guild then we need to return something slightly different so we need to return self dot dot get player guild dot id class equals play and then we don't pass the context in at all um, notice object id do apologize so this essentially just allows you to just pass uh, context or the guild in because you are going to be doing different things in different situations uh, I don't know what passing the context into this actually does but if the options there it's probably helpful um, I couldn't find anything in the documentation about that but um, if anyone does know let me know because I'll be, I'll be curious so that should be everything now in theory I think we've done all the setup that we needed to do so I'm going to run the bot and see how wrong I am because I am almost definitely wrong and it's almost definitely there's almost definitely something wrong with it get to, get to the discord bot ready Oh, there we go. Cannot connect to host 127.1.0.0. Hmm. Refuse the network connection. Interesting. 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 Why did it refuse it? It's kind of funny how I was talking about the passwords needed to be a particular thing, otherwise it doesn't work. It doesn't work anyway, which is interesting. Why is that not a thing? Okay, we're back. It's been, as you can see in the bottom right corner, quite a while since we left. Uh, I haven't spent all that time uh, trying to diagnose the problem. I just spent quite a, considerable uh, quite a considerable portion of it trying to diagnose the problem. You may notice on the screen that the code is no different. That's because the code was not a problem. The code that you have should work fine. It was an issue with the configuration as I alluded to at the end of episode one when I said that the application.yml was not required in the streams but it was in the videos um i don't know why that was i just i just finished recording or, or just finished re-recording sorry episode one to correct that fault in the video and now if we run the the bot it will work so uh, we'll get connected to discord and we'll see here that wavelink node main ready appears so the node actually initializes as you can see the server is up and running fine the node initializes perfectly fine it was the application.yml that was causing the problems now why it didn't work uh, now why we didn't need that in the streams and do now is completely beyond me but i would recommend having it as i said in episode one you might get away with not having it but i probably wouldn't risk it there's no point you probably already do have it um yeah i wanted to leave this all in uh just in case people got that error saying that the network connection was refused um if that happens your application.yml is probably incorrectly configured or non-existent if you get something to say that the that the host name i think it was the host name is invalid or the semaphore period is timed out that you've probably either specified the wrong host or the wrong port and ran into all those problems so i wanted to leave this bit in uh just to explain what it was all about but it should work out of the box for you so 
with that if you have any questions as always feel free to leave them down below in the comments or you can join the discord server using the link in the description while you're down there i have all sorts of links to all my other social medias so if you want to follow me on twitter or facebook that's the place to do it i've also got a few other things down there as well but yeah with that i'm going to end the video here if you liked it then say hi down below if you really liked it consider subscribing hit the notification bell if you really really liked it then consider supporting me on patreon of course you don't have to but a really cool thing of you to do with that in mind i'd like to thank my super patrons uh darky and jackster and i will see you next time in a few days where we talk about actually connecting to and disconnecting from uh, voice channels. So we're going to be starting with all the fun stuff next time. So I'll see you for that.